some people think that I'm crazy. That my projects look like something taken from a sci-fi movie. I'm really scared about the future. The most dangerous and most scary part would be not doing anything. This is the way my daughter sees me, goes to work in the morning. There is a narrative going on in the world where everything is going to shit. I think my job is to create hope, to create an alternative of how we live. Coming from an artistic background, I decided to move into architecture. In the end of the first year of architecture school, I got literally burned out. I got the insights of the huge amount of work that was needed to be done. There is a huge gap in between humans and the rest of nature. And this is very much reflected in architecture. For sure, I had what you called eco-anxiety. At some point, I started to get new ideas of how I need to turn everything that scares me into inspiration and eventually creating my own hope. I was starting to build devices to test different ideas. Currently, two billion people lack access to clean water. So Fogix started out as a backpack to catch water in the driest areas on the planet by catching fog. The Fogex jacket was later developed. It is a jacket that can be easily unfolded into a fog catching shelter that can catch up to 10 liters of water through fog each day. I also work with food security and the plastic pollution. The insects project started out with the insect suit. It's a device that uses the human as a power plant. The suit is an orange hazmat-like with a sphere-like abdominal structure. In that belly, you'll find mealworms chewing on toxic plastic waste and turn it into energy, turn it into their protein-rich bodies. And this could in turn be used as a sustainable food source. In the future, we won't have any use of the oil infrastructure. The Insects Island is a building complex. Instead of pumping oil from the oceans, it would pump up plastic ocean waste and turn it into uh, proteins and uh, fertilizers going into new resources. When people say my projects look like something taken from a sci-fi movie, I also remind them of that we are actually living in a world where sci-fi is not, you know, it's real. Drone swarms, AIs, space travels, or the line that is being built in the desert. I mean, we're living in a time where these ideas are actually being built and being used. I truly believe that ideas can change the mind and, and to change the culture um, and the direction. I was born as a a white male in Scandinavia. It's the most privileged position you can have almost. I can acknowledge that and use that privilege to actually create some impactful work. Minimizing the gap between humans and the rest of nature is the driving core. The time of acting and the time of reacting is now. And I think the most dangerous and most scary part would be if we would be staying passive and not doing anything.